whether he'd be allowed to run or not. And with the surge of uh, um, Senator Aquino now uh, leading the pack, I think that this this is uh, it. He, she'll be probably better off to have Arab run because Arab may take votes away from no, no. Uh, from Noy Noy. So you'd have uh, probably a three-man race: Noy Noy, Villar, and Arab. All right. So Here's a question uh, yeah. coming in. By, by being vague about your party, does it mean there are no ideological differences between parties? Uh, there are. There are. Um, I think that there, there are some parties, like uh, the Liberal Party, I'm familiar with them because my grandfather was a co-founder okay. and president of the Liberal Party till, till he died in 1957. My father ran under the Liberal Party. And, uh, you, know, I, uh, you know, I believe in that party, but unfortunately I haven't been invited by the <laughs> Liberal Party. So, you know, I can't push myself on the Liberal Party, but some of the other parties have invited me. So, uh, you know, though basically I'm just looking at, is it aligned with my economic agenda? Is it aligned with my business agenda? Is it aligned with my um, pro-poor agenda? And but, it, so, agenda? But, but are you saying that there's no one party representing your I ideology? No, there are. There are. There okay. are. All right. Definitely. Are you willing to give up your business interest since your position, if you win, can influence uh, those interests? Yes, I, I'm willing to do it. Uh, actually, what I'd suggest is put, like, put it in a blind trust like what they do in the United States. You okay. put whatever assets you have and let somebody handle it, and then after your term ends, uh, then, then you still have it. Uh, uh, I think uh, when President Noy Noy was asked about uh, how would he deal with the Wisita, he just said that he was going to sell his one divided by 36 share <laughs> of the Wisita. So, you know, it's... Uh, yeah, but anyway, that was just, you know I, I thought that that was kind of funny as an answer. But well, let, let's talk about your life uh, yeah. recently and yeah. how much it's changed since you're uh, you've been considered a whistleblower, uh, yeah. kind of like uh, Jun Lazada. You were saying earlier about the death threats and stuff like that. Mm. Is are, are these things still continuing, or is is life starting to become a little bit easier for you? Uh, not really. I think because of this political uh, possibilities now that mm -hmm. it's, uh, I'm, the, the wiretaps are still there. Unfortunately, I lost uh, my, uh, um, the case at the Supreme Court, uh, okay. in the yeah. Court of Appeals for the wiretapping. So I'm filing a motion for reconsideration. They filed a, can a case against me on the Ombudsman, yep. which I was absolved. Right. Uh, and the good news is that uh, Chairman Abelos was indicted for bribing me. Uh, offering me a bribe of uh, $10 million, yeah, if yeah, you remember. I remember that one, yeah. And, right. um, so, excuse me, Joy, we have a yeah, sure. phone call here coming in. This, sure. We are live tonight, so if you uh, want to uh, give us a call, call we have a 415-2272, local 4416 as a phone number, where you can reach myself and uh, Joy Devanesha here. We have yeah. on the phone the mayor of uh, San Pablo, Vicente Amante, on the phone. <laughs> mayor. Hello, Mayor. Do we have him? I don't know if I could uh, hear them here. Yes. Uh, oh, there he is. Mayor, uh, good evening. Welcome to the show. You have a question for Joey, sir? Nagtatarong ko po lang. Just in case na... He was granted the deal sa city. Ano gagawin niya? So he will accept the contract. Okay, okay, well, let me ask no, you, uh, right, ask uh, that question then, uh, Joey, yeah. can you address that, please? Uh, yeah, hindi ko po tinanggap yung uh, suhol ni Chairman Abalos at saka hindi ko po tinanggap yung gusto nang gawing mangyari ng grupo niya. So, I will never uh, take any money, any bribe for, from, from anybody. So, uh, and uh, that's why po na-cancela po yung kontrata kasi sobra po ng anomalies yeah. three weeks after I went to the Senate. So, but not to suhol the, the deal, though. Uh, the ZTE deal. Yeah, yeah. Well, no, that was canceled. That whole okay. contract was canceled. And uh, I, I, I don't think there's any ZTE deal that's happening mm -hmm. uh, in terms of the telecom side with the, with the government. Richard uh, Gordon, Joey, you know, he said, he, uh, he told you to stop portraying yourself as the victim here. Mm. Uh, what are your comments about that, about what uh, Senator Gordon said about you? Well, I think that, uh, you know, uh, I definitely disagree. No? Okay. I, I've had to um, sacrifice a lot in my life mm -hmm. uh, for the last two, year, two years. I even had to sell my home because, I, you know, I, uh, lawyer's fees, security fees right. are very expensive. It was already affecting even my son's going to school. So I said, this is not all worth it. So I decided to, to you know, get rid of my home and try to live a simple life until after 2010, because I believe after 2010 that my life will improve. Whether so, I, so he, all this gulo that you've been going through this past couple of years. I mean, it seems like run, being into the Senate, it's, you're just gonna it's gonna continue. I mean, you know, spotlight uh, accusations, hopefully not, but you know, just being in the general public eye, hmm. uh, especially being in government, it's gonna make your life a whole lot less simple. And is this something that you you believe that? Uh, 
Goff, for old time's sake. To you? Yeah, come on, because this, uh, okay. this is like this is your Arnold Schwarzenegger. I'll be back. Okay. This is your line, buddy. So, okay. so, so look at me. Give me, give me, the, give me the face, and just say, just say back off. Back off. Nice. <laughs> sure, oh, very much. You know what? You can use that for your uh, posters and whatnot, and your tarpaulin. Just not, no, not with you, though. No, 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 no. no. But, you know, at least. Unless you want to endorse me. No, perhaps. <laughs> right. So your platform next year again. I mean, you're running for the Senate. What, what do we expect from uh, Joey Devanesh in the Senate? Well, it's uh, since I'm a businessman and an economist, I'm, I'm purely an economic agenda. Not purely, but a lot of economic agenda. Okay. I believe in no taxes, mm -hmm. uh, except for uh, companies that emit uh, carbon dioxide. I believe mm -hmm. in a carbon tax, mm -hmm. and that is one. Secondly, property, property rights has always been a problem in this country. That's yeah. why it's so hard to invite uh, uh, prospective foreign investors. Because title to the land, even the government, even though they say it's their own land, once they go to the registry, there are like three or four claimants to that land. Okay. So doing like a wind power project, doing a reforestation project in the, in, that requires lots of land yeah. and title to make it bankable, is not at all po possible. So I think with the use of information technology, you can you'll be you should be able to do all this titling of lands and even offer title insurance as well. So th these are very important points to attract foreign investors. Yeah. Uh, as well, uh, from um, uh, my goal is to be able to have the foreign investors uh, invest in the agricultural sector, okay. like let's say like a huge Monsanto or yeah. an, a Cargill, because the agricultural sector is is the one that that definitely needs, uh, among others, a lot of help. Right. And then that's what keeps our people hungry. There are two million Filipinos who are not eating three times a day. That's right. And I've seen this. And uh, I believe the uh, technologies uh, in agriculture will greatly benefit the farmers and the uh, fishermen as well. Uh, secondly, the education sector is very important, I feel. And right. I'm, I'm glad the uh, big businessmen of Makati are now investing in um, uh, universities and colleges. That's right. And I think that that's very good because it brings up the standard. And uh, what I'd like to see is uh, to have a competitive environment within, even domestically, even between uh, uh, provinces or right. even cities yeah. uh, and municipalities to be able to uh, uh, help uh, have a scorecard and see whether measurement are they being able to help their constituency? Yeah. Are they being able to contribute to our country? Mm -hmm. And uh, and those people, those entities that have, could be um, um, incentivized by an increase in the era. That's this right. is yeah, the era is forty uh, percent, and the and the, the the different cities, municipalities are asking to increase it to fifty percent. And the government said, which I agree. Well, let's you know you let's let's have a scorecard and see if you deserve it or not. And the ones who are not doing well. Needs, needs to be assisted by government and, and for training and, and other things. So uh, those are important issues for me that, uh, that I want to push. And of course, the environment is also right. very important. Yeah. Right. All right. Uh, one more lightning round, Joey, if you don't mind. Let's, yeah. uh, I'll give you two names or things. All you have to do is choose one. Which one do you prefer? And this is a, a variety. It's a range of stuff here. Okay. Yeah. So sp smart or globe, first of all? Smart. Yeah, my man. You see my commercial? Love it. Smart answer. Uh, <laughs> uh, Windows or Mac? Mac. Boy, same here. Aha, McDonald's or Jollibee? Jollibee. Mm. Boxers or briefs? Boxers. Marion Rivera or Angel Luxin? Both. Hey, yeah, I like that. Right First thing <laughs> uh, Katrina Halili or Vicky Bello? Uh, woo. Okay. Uh, Vicky's a friend of mine. Yeah, yeah. All right, good, good. Yeah. Dinner party or night on the town? Dinner party. Uh, Lakas Campi CMD or Liberal Party? Uh, Liberal Party. Mike Arroyo or Gloria Macapagal Arroyo? Uh oh. Gloria Macapagal Arroyo. Wow. ABS CBN or GMA? ABS CBN. <laughs> <laughs> Not just because we're here, right? All right. 